tracks. Let's touch base uh, with uh, Mr. B.C. Tripathi, who's CMD Gail, joins in to talk about uh, their business outlook. Mr. Tripathi, it's great to have you on the show. Thanks very much for taking out the time. First up, analysts in the street believe that your earnings will get a big boost from the rise in gas prices. Uh, how much are you working into the numbers on account of that? The whole portfolio of Gale is basically well diversified, is almost 40% uh, on Henry Hub and 60% is on the oil index. So depending upon the market fluctuations, our basket, the basket price remains quite well balanced. That's true that uh, with the recent change in the international market, uh, the, the LNG contracts are now becoming more and more affordable for our consumer. And it's a good win-win position for all of us together. How is the average cost of gas for you right now and what is the sourcing model? You see, as far as the landed cost of gas for us is concerned, it varies from contract to contract, starting uh, somewhere around about 7.5 to $7.6 and is going up to $9. It depends upon different contracts at different time which we have signed. So the average cost of gas which Gale is importing is somewhere around about eight, eight and a half dollar. So do you see scope of improvement in your margins from current levels? You see, now uh, looking at the recent uh, past couple of years uh, stress in the market, Gale has taken a lot of initiative. We launched a project uh, called Sanche where how do we optimize and cut our cost across the board, right from energy consumption to the higher production, so you cut down the other overhead cost. At the same time, we had focus on how do we optimize our purchase cost. We have done a lot of uh, optimization in terms of swapping of US volumes, where our uh, landed cost has reduced. We have gone into an hedging into a large extent where the long-term volumes have been hedged for next one year, two years. We are also providing these hedge services to our consumer so as to give them a stable price in terms of this uh, volatility in the market, they can be insulated. And we have also gone on the basis swap between the two different indexes and the swaps have been done. With all this, uh, we have been able to optimize our cost of gas, our cost of production and the overall expenditure. So this is giving us a good result and we hope with this, uh, the current year's growth momentum will remain the same level of 20-25% this year as well. So talk to us about the joint venture with Uber and what is the plan there? You see, uh, as I said that we are giving more focus and thrust now to a retail sector also. And the way strategy is, we, we expect that uh, Gale is going to grow in much bigger form in the retail sector going into the city gas. And to start with that, uh, we have signed an MOU with Uber where Gale and Uber together will work how to have more and more CNG vehicles in Pan-India basis and to start with from uh, Bangalore and now based on our success at Bangalore we will go it on the Pan-India basis directly with Gale, Gale Gas or all the joint venture of Gale wherever we are uh, supplying city gas uh, in the major towns and cities. This will be expanded in a big manner. Going forward uh, we will also go into the straight LNG into the heavy transport system for which the first LNG station of the country is being built by Gale in Bhuvaneshwar which should be commissioned sometime by next year. Two more LNG stations in Bombay will be also commissioned by end of this year. So we are providing an outlet for people to have CNG or as well as LNG in their vehicle directly to start with. So these all uh, initiative will help us to go and expand the gas business in a bigger manner in the transport sector. Okay, so with higher volume of gas, uh, are you seeing transmission profitability as well in that segment? As far as transmission is concerned, on an average uh, last year we uh, transported almost 106 to 107 million standard cubic meter gas a day. We expect this year a growth of almost 10% uh, on this and uh, it should be a higher volume of transmission also this year. Okay, so how much capex are you planning to increase your infrastructure and pipeline across the country? See, uh, looking into the initiative and the desire of the government of India to take country to the gas-based economy, 
uh, what we are planning as a major capex in building the infrastructure first. So Gale is executing almost 5,000 kilometer pipeline with a capex of almost 25,000 crore. Apart from that, we have a capex of almost 10,000 crore onto retail sector for local area distribution network which we call city gas. So these two major focus will be on the infrastructure. We will now be making uh, the bowl LNG terminal as an all weather LNG terminal so that full 5 million tons of LNG can come at the bowl. Gale is going to have another vessel for importing of LNG charter vessel. With this we will be expanding both from the supply side as well as, as per the infrastructure side. And in this uh, the first fertilizer plant in the country there are 6-7 fertilizer plants are being built today. With all those fertilizer plants, Gale has already signed the long term contract. The first supply uh, this year should start with the fertilizer plant at Chambal and the two fertilizer plants should be, should be connected with the pipeline and commissioned by next year. With this the volume will also grow and the major focus will be from our side on the retail sector. The uh, almost uh, 15 lakh houses are targeted to be connected. Almost 450 CNG stations are uh, targeted to build this within this financial year. With this the uh, retail sale of gas into the city gas will also get a major push and we hope that uh, this year and the year, next year onward the growth of gas in terms of both supply as well as transmission will see a growth of 7 to 8 percent and the same will reflect into the annual number as well. Right. Finally, talk to us about the unified tariff regime which is being spoken about. If implemented, how will it impact your business? You see, the Gale has been raising this issue that uh, on one side uh, there is a demand from the industry and it is a requirement of the country also to have the national gas grid. And uh, Gale has been investing and taking a lead position. If you see the last 10 years, Gale has only built the pipelines. And if you see the current uh, project in hand, 5,000 kilometer pipelines are being built by Gale. So Gale is investing huge money in creating this infrastructure. So what we are requesting that there, is, there should be a reasonable return on the huge capital investment which we are making on the infrastructure. Any infrastructure cannot sustain until there is some kind of minimum assured return. So this request we have made to the government, to the regulatory board and we are quite optimistic that this will be considered favorably because this is going to help the industry only and enable Gale to build the more pipelines and to expand the national gas grid across India. Fair enough, Mr. Pradi. Thanks very much for taking out the time to speak with us and sharing with us your business plans. Okay, take a break right now. All's